In this video, I'll show you how to connect your Logitech M350 Pebble mouse to your iPad. There's actually two ways that it can be done. So let's start by the easiest one. All right, the first thing you need to do is to go on your iPad into the settings. Right over here. And then on the left side, you should see Bluetooth on the top options here. Tap on it. Now, my Bluetooth is turned on. Make sure that yours is turned on as well. You just need to press this small toggle until it's, it's green. Now, take your Pebble mouse. On the back here, you'll need to turn it on by sliding this small uh, slider on the left up. You'll need to keep press this button during 2-3 seconds until you see it's flickering. This is great. Now you can set this aside. And on your iPad, you should see over here under other devices, Logitech Pebble. Just tap on it. It will take just a few seconds. It will ask you if you want to pair it or not. You're going to press the pair button here. And just like this, you can now use your Pebble mouse. Let me demonstrate. Here we go. We have the cursor here and you can do the same exact thing as you're doing with your finger. But now you have a mouse. Now let me show you the second way you can pair your Logitech Pebble mouse to your iPad. So let me just go in the settings here and turn off the Bluetooth. All right. Now what you'll need to do is to open this uh, casing of the mouse. It's very easy. You just have to put your nail over here. I don't even have nails, but it works. And just pull this small plastic panel that is uh, covering the mouse. All right. And here you can see there is the USB transmitter. All you have to do is to take it out. You can put back the cover of the mouse. And now depending on which kind of iPad do you have, this is an iPad Air 5, so it has a USB type C port here, but you may have an older iPad that has the lightning connector. You'll need an adapter. Here I have a USB type C to USB type A, so I can just connect them together and plug it right on the side of the iPad this way. But you may need a lightning connector to USB type A. I'll put links in the description if you want to get one of these adapters. So check them out. Next step is very easy. You just have to press once on the button here, this button that we just uh, kept pressed last time. And you'll be able to use your mouse as usual, the same way we were using it when we had the, Bluet the Bluetooth connection. So here are the two ways that you can connect your um, M350 Pebble mouse to your iPad. I hope this was useful. Please leave a like, a comment down below. Don't forget to check those Amazon links. And uh, well, I'll see you in the next one.